on AEW, Chris Jericho wields fire. You want a fireball? I'll throw him around to anybody. Because I'm a wizard. But when he's punishing the Jokers, no way. He's ice cold. Oh, oh, it's a Chris Jericho heel turn yeah. on you. Watch Chris Jericho deliver even more punishment outside the ring on an all-new Practical Jokers, Thursday at 10 on True TV. Welcome, everyone, to AEW Elevation, and happy 4th of July. Tony Schiavone, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And we go to Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Bring it coming in by negative one from Brunswick, Georgia, Anna J. The lovely Anna J will begin things here in our first match. How you doing there, Mark? I am doing absolutely wonderful, Tony, and I'm just watching greatness walk to the ring, and I, I know that negative one is going to be a part of that one day. Negative one has become quite a fixture here in AEW, and here is Anna J. And let's go back to Justin Roberts for her opponent. And her opponent, Megan Myers. Megan Myers. Oh, my goodness. Who we understand has quite a dance background in her repertoire. So let's see exactly how she does here. Stefan Smith is our referee. It's good to have you with us. Quite the horror movie fan, too. Uh, apparently so. That would have scared me. Yeah, showing some flexibility. Anna Jay, of course, has become one of the uh, top female wrestlers here in AEW over the last year. Wow, clean break. Yeah, how about that? She's Oh, wait a minute. She has a great pump kick. She's got a great speed. Watch this, hitting the ropes. Uh-oh, confuser. Ran right into that elbow. Myers back to the corner, rare reversal, and the hammer throw into the turnbuckle again. Look at this agility of Anna J. Wow. She's got to work on her brakes. Absolutely stepping through. Oh, uh, arm drag. Arm drags are down. Anna J is getting more aggressive by the week. Tom. I love that. Oh, my Lord. Face plant that time. I love the aggressiveness. I've always talked about this, Mark, and I know you feel the same way. Come out when the bell rings and go right to it, right? Yeah, sometimes you got to go. Well, I guess if you uh, attack, 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 you can get caught or something like that. Yeah, but sometimes you just got to start aggressive, man. I say all the time start aggressive. And obviously, there is a lot of aggression in Megan Myers here. And here we go again as Myers stands her up with a right hand and a back elbow. And another elbow that time from the young lady who's been so much a part of the dark order. Send her down. Anna J, she's getting these people. Negative one looking on. Speaking of great members of the dark order, running elbow back in the corner. You heard Stefan Smith say, come on, get her out of the corner. Boy, she did that time. And Anna J rolls through and a kick to the head. Wow, that's like one of those capoeira kicks. Yeah. One of those Brazilian fighting arts. Very proficient with her feet, her legs. Look at this. Oh, man. She Into the Queen Slayer. Never saw it coming. And it's over. No winner of this match. Anna J. Anna J picks up yet another win here in AEW. Great way to start off our 4th of July edition of Elevation. Fireworks everywhere. Last September. 40,177 AEW fans are here. History was made in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night, what a scene. On Wednesday, September 21st. Oh my God! The U.S. Open's signature venue in Queens opens its gates yet again for the experience of a lifetime. AEW Dynamite and Rampage Grand Slam is back. Coming up next on Elevation in Tag Team Action, they're back together again. Trent and Chuck, best friends. This is 
a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 418 pounds, Chuck Taylor, Trent Beretta, Best Friends. Always brings a smile to your face when you see Beretta and Chuck Taylor together. They're best friends. Why would you not be excited when you see your best friends? Everyone out? should have friends, and everyone should have best friends. Friends, how many of us have them? And their opponents, Isaiah Bruner and G.B.A. Oh, man. All right, Bruner and G.P.A. G.P.A., this is not his first match. Like I've seen him here before, he's, he's no easy win. All right. I had a pretty high GPA, by the way, in my years. Did you? Yeah, I did. I, I did but I not. went into wrestling anyway. Well, I'm Sorry. not going to hold that against Sorry, you. It's a lousy joke. Side headlock by GPA. Sending Trent in. Beretta, man. What an athlete. Boy, he is one of the best athletes. And a tag, and here oh. comes Bruno. Bring in the big heavy. Man, he is a big guy, brother. And using the quickness, could go behind here. Big shootout. Tap. Oh, take that. Yeah, man. I, I don't think uh, Trent got enough ahead of steam to knock him off his feet that time. Well, Too I mean, wrong weight class. Wrong weight class. Right. You, you try to take it. Chest to chest with a guy 40 pounds heavier than you. I agree. A blind tag has been made. Chuck Taylor now the legal man in here. And there you go. There you, there you get it. Two I on put one. Two on one, and you know, you even odds. Even the odds, brother. Oh. Here's man. a pickup. Look at this. All the blood rushing to his head. He's gonna lose his equilibrium. Was anyone ever, I would guess not in your career, was ever to hit the ropes and knock you off your feet? Did that ever happen? That had Paul White did. Okay, I get that. I mean, he's, you know, yeah, 500 pounds. Right, right, but that's about it. I mean, they have to be much bigger than you. Yeah, it wasn't many. But many. Wow. wow, that would get all the coal out your chest. <laughs> Forearm shot. Tony liked that. I did, man. That that's old. better than Hall's. <laughs> Fixed paper rub. Oh! Oh, look. Shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, GPA. GPA. Yeah, GPA goes down on the apron. Trent Beretta goes up and down. Sky high. One, two. And only a two count says. Paul Man, that was referee. very smart. That was very smart of GPA to kick Trent in the back. Right. Distract him a little. Just, uh, just enough. As you can see, he had his sights set on Beretta. But uh, waited until Beretta got up. Beretta with a, tried a swinging DDT. And their GPA caught him flush that time. Tries to steady himself on the middle. Turnbuckle! I tell wow. you, that's, that, that means for a horrible morning tomorrow. Kind of a version of a Saito suplex that time, and a tag. And here comes Chuck Taylor. They call him the Kentucky Gentleman, right? He's, I don't see nothing very gentlemanly about that I, kick he just I, delivered. I agree, man. He's all Kentucky, and I know that, but gentlemen. When the bell rings, I'm not so sure. But together, best friends, one of the most successful oh, tag teams. Oh, go to the eyes. GP, look at that. The referee's warning him. Payback. Wow. Oh, right on the top of his head. Soul food combination that time. Oh, ready? Tony. I Come on, say, Tony. I can say it. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Hey. They didn't do it. Oh, shucks. They were going to give the people what they want. Job oh, breaker. yes. Stunner. Sir. And a stunner. And how about GPA taking the advantage to here? May oh, wow. Maybe trying to hug at that particular point in the match was the wrong thing to do. Meanwhile, down on the floor, as you can see, the big guy's down. GPA gets picked up. Well, that should do it. One, two, three, and it does. That's a bad holiday right there. Here are your winners. Best friends. Well, best friends pick up a win here on Elevation in this 4th of July weekend market. Show it again here, buddy. How about
that soul food combination. Man, that's. They should have had some cornbread in there. Yes, sir, buddy. No hug, though. Didn't get a hug. At least not yet. Hang on. Wait a minute. You got to give the people what they want. All right. And we're going to give the people Jay Lethal, the factory, and a whole lot more coming up on Elevation. Oh my God, EW's Blood and Guts made Dynamite Cable's number one show on Wednesday. Now, don't miss the aftermath. John Moxley defends the AEW Interim World Championship against Royal Rampage winner Brody King. And Wardlow challenges TNT champion Scorpio Sky. Let's make it a street fight. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS. Big, and I mean big tag team match coming up next as Jay Lethal and Satnam Singh team together with Sanjay Dutt at ringside. This next match is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Sanjay Dutt, the team of Jay Lethal. Satnam Singh. Oh my lord. Uh, buddy, I, I, you know what? What is that? Well, that's a pencil in the head of a guy who is a lunatic. Is that a, ha is that a man? Oh, you're talking about that, Satnam Singh. That is the biggest human I've ever seen. From India. One in, a, one in a billion. Former NBA draft pick. And their opponents, James Alexander and Ray Jones. Ray Jones, highly sought after independent. He's in there, he's gonna be in there with a guy that's seven foot three. Wow. How can you even punch that high? Man. Look at, look, he's, he's, he directs everybody's attention to him just by standing on the apron. Look at this. It looks like he's on a ladder. I know it does. Uh, look, John going on now. Look at this. Yeah, this is Rand's home, right? Absolutely. We are in Detroit at Little Caesars Arena downtown, and Jay Lethal cares nothing about that. A tag has been made. And James oh. Alexander now comes in. Oh, James. Well, you got to take the fight to him, man. You got to at least attempt to. Side headlock. Jay Lethal has made it very apparent. He and Sanjay, and of course, Adam, very apparent that they want a shot at Samoa big, Joe. Big. Watch this cover. One, two, Samoa Joe and the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. That challenge was laid down recently. This past week, and now we're going to get the big guy in. Look at this. It, it looks like people are shooting guns, and they're just bouncing off. 2015, Saddam Singh was drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, becoming oh the first Lord. Indian board player to be drafted into the NBA, and now he has made his way into a pro wrestling ring. And he is just stacking up the wins. It's like palming a basketball. He is dribbling a human being. <laughs> He's dribbling a this human. is unreal. Why, why, why would you do that? And you just saw what he did to your teammate. No. Whoop. How about that cross body by that big guy? Bless his heart. And now Jay Lethal. Oh, going with a tope suicida. Just stay down, buddy. Just stay down. Oh, no. I don't think he has any choice. Oh, no. Satnam Singh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, my God. His foot is. His foot was all the way across his chest. 
It looked like he had a bug squeeze. I'm, I'm telling you, with Sandham Singh in Jay Lethal's corner, Jay Lethal very well may be the next Ring of Honor TV champ. Take a look again. He did a helicopter spin. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that, Tony? Sandham Singh, Jay Lethal. Sandham Singh needs a whooping. Decisive winners on elevation. Maybe the most lethal hands in all of AEW. It's Anthony Ogogo at the factory, and he's coming up next. This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Hailing from the east of England, weighing 239 pounds, he is a London 2012 Olympic medalist. The governor, Anthony Agogo. Before this match gets underway, a reminder, coming up this Wednesday in a mere two days, we are going to be back in Rochester, New York, at the Blue Cross Arena for AEW Dynamite and, of course, live, and then Rampage as well. Tickets on sale now at AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. That is for Rochester coming back to the Blue Cross Arena on Wednesday. Let's go Championship back. Championship pedigree, Tony. He's the man, buddy. Let's go back to Justin Roberts. And his opponent, Pat Munnix. All right, Pat Munnix. Looks like Spider-Man. Really? Yeah, Toby Maguire. Toby, okay. Yeah. I see that. Anthony I don't think Toby. the governor's gonna care. No, it, it, it's not taking the governor. You just obviously have to stay away from his knockout punch, but I think there's much more to the governor than than just that knockout punch. I, I think there's a lot. Look at that cravat. I think he's learned, he's developed, he's gotten better. European uppercut, look at this. Snap mare over. I mean, he's a guy that is a great athlete. So, you know, when you're a great athlete, an Olympic medalist, and you take up on, you take something else on, you pour all your time and energy into it. And I think that's what he's doing. Very well said. And now, boy, uh, oh, man, Honix uh, has uh, gotten uh, fired up here. Fired up and then fired down to the map. And uh, stomp in the midsection. Obviously, How do you defend that? No, well, you just, you can't. Squeeze your legs together. Okay. Then you get kicked in the face. That was a headbutt, as Gordon Soley would say, in the solar plexus. Leg drop, cover, one, two, no, not yet, man. All right, let's go. You can hear these crowds get behind Pat Monix. And right back down into a rear naked. Let's go. All right, Pat, fire up. Fans are behind him here. Come on, Pat, I'm cheering for you. Oh, wow. Wow, you see the brakes get put on him? Absolutely. The force of Monix coming off, combined with that European uppercut, stopped him dead in his tracks. Back drop. Back side drop, more like it. Boy, was it ever. Oh, no. Samoan drop. Cover one, two. Ah, uh, well, there you go. What a low down, dirty son of a guy. Big smile on the face of Anthony Gogo. He's got everything under control right now, but you know, sometimes when you put too much mustard on the hot dog, you can't taste it. Hmm. I like that analogy. Pick up. Oh, there it was. Oh, my gosh. He ain't getting up, guys. Uh, uh, you shouldn't even have to cover him. Yeah. Just count him out. Rick Knox can count all he wants. He's out. And here is your winner. Good to go. Anthony. Let go, go. Knocked his ass right out, Mark. Wow, and covered him in the flag. Oh, the Union Jack. Insult to injury. He, he, he loved to do that here in America.
Okay, one more time. The Samoan drop. There's the flip over. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right in the chin. Saw it coming, nothing he could do about it. The next thing that Monix knows, the referee is trying to roll him out of the ring. Anthony Agogo continues to rack up the wins. Great performance, great in, performance. In AEW. Every week he's better. Women's tag team action. Former AEW champion Akaro Shida teams with Yuka Sakazaki. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, the team of Hikaru Shida and Yuka Sakazaki, Yuka Sakazaki, Yuka Sakazaki. Wow. Oh, here we go. Yuka Sakazaki and Hikaru Shida. Wow, what a low-down, dirty tactic. Heather Reckless and Laney Luck wasting no time trying to get the advantage on the former world champion. And, of course, the the very delightful... Ooh, a jumping sidekick. Uh, always making you smile, Yuka Sakazaki is just now getting right up to the apron of the ring. I've always said about Hikaru Shida that she's the best when she is aggressive. Yep. When she wrestles with purpose, when she's angry. Because she really is such a pleasant person. I mean, she really is. But then when you you get her angry, then her demeanor changes. And she, I think she wrestles better. Wow, they turned the, turned the tide, got her trapped in the corner, right behind the referee's back. We're going to get poses and glasses. OK. We don't have he any. makes a lot of mistakes. Like that. Yes, he does. We all do. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah, you do. No, no. You know what? It, being mistakes makes you human, man. Oh. Got to be perfect. Can't be perfect all the time, right? And you did, never wow. heard of perfect Mark Henry? Well, as, now, now that you mentioned, yes, I have. And here comes oh the magical girl. You could suck. Such a delight to watch. Look at this. Forward roll. Oh, and a kick. So athletic as well. Look, wow. Some force behind. One, two, and no. Kick what a down. unique cover. That was awesome. Fans, let's remind you that in two weeks, that's a week from Wednesday, we're going to be in Savannah, Georgia for our debut at the End Market Arena. Uh -oh. Tickets at AEWTIX.com. Missile drop kick right to the face. And now, oh, Shida champion. with the knees. Tony, I think it's all over but the crime. Picks her up for a vertical suplex. Uh, maybe not. The hair pull. Yikes. Break to the eyes, and look at the double team here. How about Yuka? A pickup. Slam and a vertical suplex combination. A little misdirection play here. Look at that. Both of them got served. You want a drink? Here's a knockout. Oh. And they're picked up again. Oh, oh and a little Falcon Arrow. One, two, and three. Welcome back, Shida. Yuka Sakazaki and Hikaru Shida. Yuka Sakazaki, Hikaru Shida. Get the win, Mark Henry, here on Elevation. It's time for the main event here on Elevation as the factory takes on Dark Order.
This is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. From the factory, Nick Camarado, Aaron Solo, and QT Marshall. As the factory makes its way to the ring, a reminder, the Ring of Honor pay-per-view event. Death Before Dishonor comes your way Saturday, July 23rd at 7 p.m. at the UMass Lowell Center. Tickets go on sale for Death Before Dishonor at 10 a.m. Friday morning, this coming Friday, July 8th. That's the Sangus Center, the UMass Lowell Sangus Center. Wow. Death I've Before been Dishonor. Sagas. You been there? Yep. Been a lot of places. That's that's one of those that get a cheap lobster roll. Ah, there you go. And their opponents from Dark Order being accompanied by Negative One, Evil Uno, Alex Reynolds, and Dark Order Number Ten. A wow, big six-man main event here on Elevation. Throw it up, Tony. Come on. Throw it up. Oh, you're the dark order sign. Oh, the dark order sign. Okay, there you go. Have I'm that. a car carrier member. Are you really? Oh yeah. Went on the white website and everything. You know, I sometimes I wonder. Wonder about what? I wonder. I wonder if you're trying to wizard me. I just sometimes you, you <laughs> got it. Well, because I support the Dark Order, I like them. Card carrying member. Well, I never did really get the card in the mail. Not sure you didn't. Well, Dark Order got got, uh, got this. A very quick beating coming on here. Now they're turning their attention back. Look at this. And the fans are on QT already. Well, they should be. He is He's so an awful human being. He is so easy to dislike, isn't he? Well, he, he makes it easy. Did you see how Ten just handled Camarado? Yeah, isn't that something? That is a strong dude. You're not kidding. Camarado is a strong dude as well, and that's that's saying something here. Now, Ten and Evil Uno will send Aaron Solo in. Solo lured him into the ropes. I saw that coming. Uh, I don't know if you saw that coming. Right. Here's QT taking advantage. Uh, ten. Little misdirection. It sends Ooh. ten to the steel steps. No. Tope that time by Alex Reynolds. Oh, body slam on the floor. There is absolutely no give in that floor, Tony. Even though there is a thin rubber mat, that thin rubber mat is more for their footing than anything else. It's not going to protect you at all. Jeez. This is where I like to go to the ring and just tell the guys, hey, do you want to last until you're 40? Stay in the ring, right? Stay in the ring. But right now, the the factory are just dismantling Evil Uno here. Looked like a tap dance contest. Boy, they were tapping dancing on his head. I say tapping dancing. Tapping dancing. Tapping dancing. Smart for them to keep him in that corner. Cut that ring off. Stepping on his wrist. Tag in. Picks up Evil Uno and a kick as well from Aaron Solo. Here's a cover. One, two. I Little said combo it move. I've said it before. They were chanting negative one and negative one <laughs> acknowledging the fans. As you can see, I've said it before, though, that Aaron Solo is really the underrated member of this factory. Oh, yes, he is. Kid One of the best athletes we yes. have in the company. Yes, he is. Uh, savvy when it comes to offense. Not overpowering, but you can look at his body and tell that he's strong and athletic. Yeah, and he knows how to use it. Look at that. Look at Smirk. that. Uh, it's, it's repulsing. Is it, what it, it really is. It's a horrible oh, smile. One, two. You're about a four on the street. Wow. Wow, he just told the woman that she's a four. Yeah. That's not nice. On the street. Wow. That's even worse. Four on the street. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a disgusting human being right there. And that woman probably is, you know, paid a lot of money for those things. Absolutely she did. 
One of our great fans. Here comes Camarado. Whoa. Wow. All that weight in the big elbow drop. Kick. Oh, man. I know I'm not supposed to. Listen to that. Fans are on QT. It deserves every bit of it. There's Solo. Cheap shot on 10. Meanwhile, Lima Luno's in. It's and why is the referee here. pointing at 10? He should be telling Solo, hey, keep your hands in the ring. Neck breaker. I don't get it. Tag. Here comes QT. Not Nicely done anymore. to cut. Oh, look at that. Almost made the tag, and Tony QT did QT type things. Oh, thank you, God. I, I, I prayed for success, and I got a little bit. Oh, well, short yeah. lived. Hammer thrown to the corner. Down goes Nick Camarado. Here comes Eva Luna fighting in Zaguri, though, that time. And a pickup here. Gonna try to power bomb him, and he did. One, two. Yes, sir. Big kick out. He's got a lot left in the tank. Speaking of tanks, gas is high as the sky, Tony. Yeah, it is. It is Brutal. ridiculous. Cost me $128. Wow. Fill up my truck made me sad. And now QT is pointing at negative one. <laughs> response to it. Very nice. <laughs> little distraction. Gave Evil Uno a little room to pull a fast one on QT Marshall. Tag it. And the come. tag has been made. Number 10. Of the dark order, a massive man picks up QT, disposes of him, and now spine buster. Oh, oh my God! The power, amazing. Look at look at Aaron Solo kicking, trying to disrupt this this hold. That is still up in the air. Ken's calling for it. Where y'all at? You can see it coming. The full Nelson. Has and he's got it. gotten out of that yet? And QT knows exactly what oh. to do. Double axe handle into that. Extension to the midsection. There's Aaron Solo again. Wow, he's locking 10. He sure is. Oh, he got a pump kick for it. Thank you for all the all the good tidings. I know I did a bit of bad boy sometimes, Tony, but I deserve that. Settle down there, Mike. Here we go. And look at this. QT coming off. Oh my gosh. The springboard to a Gamagiri and a cover. One, two, the fight. Oh, they didn't win it. Get ready to say the factory picks up a win. QT with his back turned thought for sure they had won it. He tried to do the Steph Curry, no look. Knee lift. Whoop, low rope. Big guy goes floating over the top. Floating may not be the word there, but oh, wow. Aaron Solo. He gets kicked. Boy, he's been kicked a lot tonight. QT with great extension on that. Spin. Tried the diamond cutter, blocked. Sent to the floor, only one man left on the factory, and that's Aaron Solo. And now he goes out. Not today. Wheelbarrow. Oh! There's bodies flying everywhere here. Wow, discus Larry, you can count the Christmas. It's over. And it's over. Here are your winners. Dirt Order!
Thank you so much, Tony. It's been a great time here on Elevation. Happy Independence Day to you, Mark Henry, and your family, and to all of you. We'll see you tomorrow night on Dark. And don't forget, we're going to be in Rochester, New York, Wednesday night, as we take a look at this. Great teamwork here by the Dark Order. Cannonball sent on, and this was the end of it. See you Wednesday night live on TBS from the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester. Guts made Dynamite Cable's number one show on Wednesday. Now, don't miss the aftermath. John Moxley defends the AEW Interim World Championship against Royal Rampage winner Brody King. And Wardlow challenges TNT champion Scorpio Sky. Let's make it a street fight. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS.